All right, y'all, I'm about to show you where all the magic happens and where we store all of our food. I don't know how we stored all this food in our single wide mobile home that we had, but we did. But now that we have this basement, we can store more food. And in today's video, we're gonna be making some pantry shelves because these shelves right here, these are just metal garage shelves we've had since we moved here. I mean, they work okay, but with the weight of all this food, this particle board, it's starting to bow like this, and it's eventually it's gonna cave in. Whatever my wife wants, I'm gonna build for her because this is stuff that she's worked on from time to time, you know, put away food for our family, canning, freeze drying, broth, canned chicken, canned vegetables, dehydrating, freezing. I mean, we do it all in this little basement here. We need to make custom. We could buy the shelves, but we're gonna make it custom. Custom to how tall these jars are, this size jars and this size jars. Plus bulk rice and beans. Plus we have potatoes that we need to store on these shelves. We have baskets full of onions. We're not gonna complete all the shelves, but we're gonna start. Three more to go. Now that I put together the actual shelves, we need to put everything else together and I need to install that in the basement. The 
main goal for today is do not break a jar. Being that we have a limited height here, we still want to utilize that height. Because if you notice on these shelves that we had, they weren't very tall, so we had that all that wasted space. So the shelves need to be a little bit taller. Eventually the ceiling here, we need to seal up. Even if it's just plywood, I, I'm seeing myself probably installing some kind of lights in here, better, better lighting for sure. Uh, maybe some recessed lighting, but I'm thinking maybe sheets of plywood up here because as we're walking upstairs, we've noticed like some like little bit of dust and, and maybe some of this insulation it falls down we don't want that falling on our food basements are cool because it stays pretty much about 50 to 60 degrees in here all year long right now the temp in here is 58 the easiest way to do this is we need to lay it down and then i'm going to run the legs on top, screw it in, and then we'll just prop it up. And on the bottom, the, the very bottom is not gonna have a shelf because we're gonna put the five gallon buckets on the bottom. And so this first shelf needs to be a foot, one foot and five inches tall from the bottom so that way we can fit a bucket in here when I marked it I marked it all the way around so that way I can see it as I line it up here the bottom I'm gonna go 14 inches from the top of this first shelf. I'm gonna try to get as many shelves in here as possible. So I've decided that I'm not gonna put this thing all together all at once because it's a beast. This thing is super heavy. I made it bulletproof. It's a tank. So uh, I think I'm gonna put it together, just two shells. I'm gonna try to prop it up and then finish putting the other shells after it's already standing tall. I'm only one person, so when you're building something, you gotta think of that, wait a minute, am I making this too heavy? Because if I were to split this down the middle and made two pieces, it would probably be a little bit better. I already built it, let's try to make it work. For the rest of the shelving, I cut these spare uh, scrap 2x4s and this is the width I'm going to need to install the other shelf. And So I made these at 10 inches and I made four of them, one at each corner. And then I'm going to clamp them on here, all on each corner, clamps. It's a little heavy, so I recommend two people to build this. But then again, you don't have to make it this long and this heavy duty. I don't want to build this again. And this is going to be the biggest, probably the biggest um, shelf in here. And uh, we're going to be putting a lot of heavy stuff. So all that weight of all the food is just going to stack up and be heavier and heavier. So, you know, you want it to last. I mean, it does... It kind of feels like we're building our own grocery store in the basement. I'm not sure on every phone, but if you have an iPhone, 
and if you forget your level there is a level that comes with your phone it's not a special app so that's that's level that's level this this middle shelves are 10 inches apart and then we're gonna do another 10 inches which is pretty much gonna leave it to the very tippy top of this I'm gonna be posting plans for this on our website which I every time I build something I usually have the plans on there like a step-by-step -step plan so you guys can build it at home In today's world, building something for yourself using just simple materials like two by fours or plywood, it's not always cheaper. It's a little tight, it's a little tight. There we go. There we go. Sometimes going out and buy a shelving kit already made, all you have to do is put it together can be cheaper but what you cannot replace is building it custom custom to your specific space and making it specific to your needs and that would cost over 350 dollars and then to build this one cost me about 130 dollars plus it's custom <laughs> And that is it. This is the start of turning our basement into our own grocery store. Now that we have the height, it looks like pretty pretty minimal as far as what we have put away. So it looks like we gotta start growing more food this year. Feels like an underground bunker here. You know, we wanna cover up the ceiling, put lights in here. It's one of each shelves on this end, shelves on this end. This was a priority build because that those shelves that we were using they were starting to cave in so we definitely needed something there we have some extra shelves now which we could use for storage there's also enough space here this spot right here we could all put a maybe something there to write like section by section what we have you know we have some meat uh, canned here some bone broth you know peaches we could write it right here you know, just to be a little bit or more organized. Okay, this is, I have not seen the shelves yet. This is my first time seeing them. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. It's so big. Wow. Um, this is really huge. You have more canning space now. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> more, more food. To so put that away. means I need to do more canning. Perfect timing because we're doing the, we're, we're going to try to do the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge this month. And so I need to see what I have. And sometimes like before the way it was set up, it was, everything was just kind of thrown in here and I didn't know what I had. So this is better because I can see how much I have and how much we can go through. This looks great. I was worried that I was going to run out of space, that I was not going to have enough space, but this is perfect. This is great. It means I have way more way more room to hoard my food <laughs> oh i'm so excited cool this is exactly how i would have organized it like by section so the next shelf what is that going to be like probably the next step for this room would be um we had talked about moving this small chest freezer into the barn and then with this space turning making another small shelf here because we've had a lot of stuff in, on, on the floor and sitting on the floor is not that great but I don't, I don't know if we're quite ready to give up that i mean it's full it's full but i mean with this pantry challenge maybe we can um rearrange some things and then kind of go through some stuff so i mean we just have like a whole cow in here <laughs> So I think we're gonna eat through that and then um, all of that is old chicken. So once we kind of just move some stuff around, I think we'll be able to fit a shelf right here. So that'll be the next thing is a shelf. I gotta do something with this. This is not good. <laughs> that looks not safe. <laughs> but I use it and it works, but I don't feel comfortable like plugging in my dehydrator and leaving it overnight. So this is the start of building out our pantry here. Uh, hopefully I could get it done. I would love to get it all done before the winter's over Because when spring hits, I mean forget it. I'm not gonna have time to do this stuff 
But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.